Paris is no longer romantic. Disney has no more magic and New York, New York has no more hectic. Hugs and kisses become killing weapon and not visiting parents or grandparents become a neck of love since the coronavirus invading this universe. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Coronavirus outbreaks has changing us a lot. When lockdown becoming the first option for many cities of the world, most people are forced to like what they dislike and to be what they don't want to be. See, how many housewives are forced to become a teacher to assist their children's online classes? See, how many laborers are forced to become farmers or entrepreneurs to collect a little penny? And see, how many students become real gamers to break their boredom? What about me? At the end of 2019, I contemplated that all of my goals were gone. But in the beginning of 2020, I kept believing that all could be achieved. Like winning English debate, speech contest, having a good grades, and be the best in my class. However, all were colorless, pointless, aimless when the pandemic attacked. I was really demotivated when my homeroom teacher announced that all classes will be skipped due to the local government warning. All students are obliged to have their online classes and I personally have to spend 8 hours a day in front of screen to have all my virtual classes and webinars which is absolutely boring. Imagine, imagine ladies and gentlemen. I am not a smart student who thinks that math is a monster, physics is a vampire, and history, history is a misery. Even if I force my mind to keep focus, all coming was only boring and difficult words or numbers. At the time, I felt that the world was really different. I felt that God destined me a terrible life because all of my plans were only nightmare. But at that time, my dad came to me and he empowered me how to be strong in the middle of hurricane, how to be smart in facing all of challenges and how to keep on the track from the life riddles. He showed me a great quote from Thomas Edison, our greatest weakness lies in giving up and the most certain way to succeed is to try one more time. So listen, listen baby, pandemic is only short. Your dreams, your life, and your future are still longer. So I dare you to not quit. I dare you to show the world that you are really matter. Show the world that you belong. It might be just a toxic positivity which can slave my soul more and more, but I believe him as my life coach. So first, I check all of my learning schedule. I send posted what days for math, what days for physics, and what days for history. I try to have a better preparation, and I try to love these subjects. Even actually, my score didn't even increase for 0.1, and I still got retake after the evaluation. But I'm feeling blessed because I knew that. The instance of learning is not about being able to answer a thousand, a million, a ton of questions. It's about the holistic value of it. The happiness, the togetherness, and love. And second, I call my English teacher and ask him, what are the competitions ahead? And he said, we still have a national English debate competition. So I bravely took that challenge. I practiced for more than three weeks. I brought all the materials, even we had sparings. I tried to manage my time for studying, for reciting Quran, and for practicing. Do you know what the result is? Yes, I failed, but I never cried because winning is just a bonus. The experiences, the struggles are more valuable. At last, ladies and gentlemen, Pandemic is not a barrier or even a nightmare for us to move ahead. Even if yes, it is creating a massive anxiety among the humankind. 
It is blocking a million future dreams, but pandemic is not stronger than us. Pandemic is only a challenge for us to be a better version of ourselves. So, our big duty is to see how pandemic has always beauty. Just like these flowers. You might see the beauty from the right angle. So, what are you waiting for? To achieve our goals, let's hold tight our fingers and say, I am stronger than pandemic. Thank you.